So what is my thoughts about the Kingsong S22 or S20 when I own two Emotion V11s? I own also the Kingsong S18 and also I've been riding with the Big God Hero for more than 1,000 kilometers. I have to say to you guys that is the best of the worst electric unicycles that I test until today. If you want to know everything about this subject, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love UCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are back here on the bench to talk a little bit more about a King Song wheel. Yes, for a long time that we didn't have any King Song wheels on the channel, the last one was obviously the King Song S18. And now we have here the King Song S22, that is basically a King Song S20. To be completely honest with you guys, I was not really excited to pick this up because the day before that I picked the King Song S22 that happened in the United States. As you can imagine, I didn't really like the idea to have a wheel that just caught fire, bring to my house, to sleep with that wheel in my house. That was definitely not the best thing in the world. And I have to say to you guys that since I brought this wheel to my house, I was definitely not enjoying it at all. Yes, it's a prototype, but this should be the prototype, not the prototype previous final production, if it makes sense. It's quite far from a final production. Disclaimer, do I recommend to buy this one? No. And you will understand why I'm saying that. First of all, when I pick it up, I was struggling to accelerate. That's not normal. I was just riding with my good friend River after I was just putting my feet a little bit more in front of the pedals and I could feel that I could accelerate a little bit more. So the first thing that I've done on this wheel was to just swap around the pedal. So this is the right pedal and that one is the left pedal. The pedal was from the other side. Now that is a little bit more in front, I can accelerate better. And that made a lot of difference just riding with it. But still, I was definitely not enjoying this wheel. So the next thing that I've done, I just took out the pads that King Song have decided to do. And to be honest, they say that is included, but obviously you are paying for them when you are purchasing a King Song S22 and those pads are simply garbage. They are so wide that I struggle to catch and to hit the front part of the wheel and I struggle to brake. That is a big, big issue here and I don't think that they are ready. Riding with this as it came out was simply horrible. I was struggling to curve, even he rides and by the way, thank you so much he rides to provide me with this wheel. They were testing out with some customers and some of them they was losing the, the control of this wheel because this tire is so square that in the original position of everything and all the changes and we'll talk after about the last change that I've done, you just want to go straight and after when you are trying to curve, you reach a point that the wheel just wants to dig on your legs and definitely is not something that I enjoy it. In the beginning, I have to say to you guys that I simply hated this tire, but now I really like it. But for that, I had to do a last change that I saw on the channel of Wrong Way. By the way, Adam, very, very good thing. So basically, I push all this to the lower position. So all this wheel is much, much closer to the floor. And even if we compare to uh, Emotion V11, you are going to see that the pedals are much lower. So as you can see, those screws there is the ones that I change to bring the suspension down because you have more screws going up. So you can just change all the angle of the suspension. And that brings a big problem when you go off-road. But you'll understand that this was the only position that I felt comfortable riding with this one. When I change the suspension to the lower position, I really felt that the wheel was completely different. Obviously, changing the pedals to the front, changing the power pads, and changing all the structure of the wheel made a massive, massive difference. First reactions, I have to say to you guys that these small changes that I've done makes this wheel feel so much better, man. All the holes, it seems there is nothing, it just flies. And now I don't have problems to accelerate and even to brake. It's not fantastic, but it's so much better because now, because the center of gravity is lower, I can just kick a little bit on the side. So it's easier even to just slightly curve with it. Something that was not possible to do with the original configurations that you had on the S20 or S22. And from that moment, the tire was not slippery when I was trying to curve. Also, I was 
I was having much more controls over this wheel. It was much more nimble. Suddenly it was a completely different wheel. But that brings a big problem. When you bring all the suspension down, it brings all these pedals down. And obviously if you go off-road, it becomes dangerous. In the day and the footage that you are seeing the B-rolls was a full day riding off-road with my friends and I hit two times with the pedals over some bumps and stuff. One of them I completely lost the control. Hopefully I was using my good boots from uh, Forma that really saved my ankle so definitely a plus on those boots. And after I hit once again but I managed to don't fall from the King Song S22. But if I didn't do these changes to the King Song S22, I have to say to you guys that the experience was completely, completely garbage. And when we talk about the pedals, they are okay. They are not bad at all. But in the same time, if I could, I will change to something a little bit better because all these spikes, they are going to disappear after a while. You can not change the angle of this. I really don't like the rubbers here on the pedals because I had to cut one of them because one of them was not opening properly. This rubber here is definitely not the best because if I close it and I try to open, as you can see, I struggle to open. So I have to heat down to fit it once again. So definitely not the best design, but it works if you want to heat a bit. And now they, <laughs> they fully open both of them. So just have that in mind. When we talk about this, this handle here on the front, I don't get it because obviously if you crash with the wheel, this is one of the parts that's going to hit the floor earlier. So even if you put here a better plastic, it's going to break once again. I don't understand why you didn't put here some rubber or even some metal. So just something to point it out. When we look to these lights, obviously you can change the angle. And I have to say that this feels very, very cheap. It's like going to a Chinese store and changing. And by the way, as a disclaimer, you guys know that I'm not a big fan of King Song and you will understand a little bit further why I'm not a big fan of King Song. I think the rim is quite, quite good. I think it's one of the parts that are the best on this wheel. And talking about the rim, also these metals, I thought that they were going to be very, very fragile, but they feel quite, quite sturdy, so definitely a plus. When we talk about the mud guard and all this exposure, is really, really good because if you see on this video, I'm going to show you a part that happens during this day that we was just riding with it. I had a piece of wood going inside this specific Emotion V11. So we have just a technical problem now. So one piece of wood went inside the V11. So before it burns the motherboard, we are trying to deinflate the tire. So that's definitely an advantage in here because you have much easier access to, to the tire. So it's easier for us to try to take something that goes in. Such a difficult task to take that piece of wood out the shell of the Emotion V11. So this was the bit that went inside and this guy managed. Yes. <laughs> and this guy here is the assistant. Yes. <laughs> assistant it's operations out. manager. Let's ride. Let's ride again. <laughs> Woo! In this case, it's impossible to happen. And even if it happens, it's so easy for you to access to it. So definitely a plus and something that I really, really like it on this one. When we talk about this handle to walk with your electric unicycle, I have to say to you guys that, yeah, it's, it's really sturdy or it feels sturdy because I've seen already online some of them they breaks around this doesn't have a button to lock in place so many times you are just walking and this closes it so if you want to walk with this trolley handle you can't walk like this because it's super hard to maneuver so you always have to put the heaviest part of your wheel that is where is the suspension on the front and you can ride it but when you are just walking this sometimes close it like you can see and you have to pull it back up. So definitely not the best design, but it's quite sturdy, as you can see. So not the best, but not the worst, but also not really convinced with it. So I don't like it at all. When we talk about the kill switch, I really like it. Okay, it works quite well, but it just happened what I don't like it. The kill switch, it works quite fine. It's very easy just to open and close without a problem. And straight away, you lose the balance. I just felt my fingers, they get stuck on the, 
on the wheel. And if you try to lift it up, it's going to basically <laughs> put your hand against the wheel and this handle. So definitely not the best experience and not the best design. But those decisions happen constantly on this wheel. When we talk about the screen, man, I, I can't describe more than is so, so ridiculous, this screen. So if you look to my leg, and if I'm just accelerating, you can see where it's going to sit my knees. So for that big reason, I will not be able to see the screen. And I can show to you guys. So when I'm accelerating, this is what happens. So I need to bend and look in to be able to see how fast I'm going. So definitely not the best design also in there. Everyone and I saw a lot of persons saying that they like the screen. I, I don't understand how they like the screen because this screen sits basically for your bump to see how fast you are going. Besides that, it's just show you how fast you are going. You see the battery, but when you stop, you don't have any information what is the, the percentage that you have, really the percentage, because this is a, a something that I never like about Kingsong. If you look to the S18, it's impossible for me to understand how much battery I have. The last Goodwill that they've done that, that was okay, was with the Kingsong 16X because of the shape of it. When it curves on the bottom, you knew that you was below 50%. And for me that I normally ride above 50% of battery, that was a good thing. Yeah, I, I don't get it. When we continue to look here on the back and uh, it seems very negative, but in the end you'll understand that I, I really like it, but I, I think that King Song have to really change a lot of stuff to become a company that I can really respect and you'll understand in a second. This backlight, I really, really love it. I, I really enjoy it. It's not really bright, so have that in mind, but I like the look of it. And I like that it shows that yeah, I'm curving to the right and the left. I think if it was brighter, it will be very, very good. And I like the position of it. But like I said, the screen is, is, is ridiculous. I don't understand why they, they didn't choose a solution like you have, for example, on the Bigot Hero. And you have on the Emotion V12 because those screens are on the front. This one is useless, to be completely, completely honest with you guys, because when you are starting to accelerate like crazy, your body is really in front, and when you look down, many times you have to look twice to be able to see something. We'll talk about the suspension in a second. When we look to this wheel without any pads, this wheel completely lose the look of it, and I, I don't really understand why they didn't do a wheel that can even survive in a certain way in look without those pads. But let's now starting to talk why I think that this is nothing more than a prototype and you'll start to understand. And looking to this wheel, it feels like, oh, we have a suspension in there, let's pick it up. We have this piece of plastic, like put it in there. You have this handle. It, it feels that the wheel was not thought enough, okay? And that's why I, I, I'm telling you that this is basically just a prototype. So. Looking to the side, you can see that they put all these batteries, but they are more on the front. And that happens because this wheel is really, really heavy on the back. That's why you have the handle on the front. But even putting all this weight here, it's, it, it's impossible to have a good weight. That's why, for example, also those bits of plastic to assemble your power pads that they are pure garbage, they are in plastic because if they was putting that in metal here or if they was making the metal a little bit larger, it will be basically almost impossible for you to push this wheel. So that's why these pedals, they have to go on the front, otherwise you struggle to accelerate. For me that my legs are quite thin, it's not a problem. I can put here my power pads and I can manage to ride with it. But if you have a larger leg, you are very limited because for me here, it's already on the limits. You can see that here, my power pads, they are not touching. So if you have a very, very thin leg, you will not be able to set your power pads. But there is more. So when you disassemble the suspension to drop this down, all this structure goes down. And when that happens, you understand that the suspension goes on this rail here on the inside. So as you can see, guys, this is the part where the suspension goes up and down but it gets full of mud and obviously after a while you are going to start having issues it's not going to slide as well as before and the suspension should go 
inside a, a completely closed environment. So you will not have water or dust going inside. So this should be the king of off-road. So if you go off-road, you are going to have more and more mud get stuck in here and the suspension will start not working as before or as the beginning of the wheel and all that experience that you simply love it. So I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I think that this is just a prototype of the prototype. So why you didn't try to go a little bit further with it? And the problem is that they don't hear. Uh, they, they do their stuff and they don't hear us to give them some feedback so they can improve. And they expect that you or even us, we try them, we buy them, and after a while they start making some changes. But in here, it's not just like, oh, I'm going to change here the plastic for something a little bit better. I'm going to put a stick on the handle, if you remember, just to raise the button on the S18. Here are structural problems. When we talk about the suspension, I was saying it's simply amazing, but also it's not a King Song product, okay? When we talk about the suspension, it's so easy just to rotate this and change the settings. And obviously you have the other valve on the bottom that also it's very easy to adjust once again. So no need of pumps to just change the settings of this suspension, something that I really like. But this suspension is far the best suspension that you have on the market. And when you go off-road with the S20, you really enjoy this wheel. But it comes with a big problem, and that problem is called braking. And I don't think that is just software problems. I think that the hardware is not prepared to achieve good braking. If you have a 126 volts, that even if you think about it, the wheel was not completely fully charged, so you are not in 126 volts, you remember? I think they've done all these things to not be so close to the full charge of the battery, because when you brake, you are bringing voltage inside your wheel. So I think that since the beginning, they knew that something was wrong. And even if you go in a surface that is just going slightly down, you struggle to brake, or you struggle to be in control. It's not braking, it's just, okay, I want just to reduce a bit the speed in here. I was struggling to do it with the S22 or S20, whatever you want. Just today, for example, that I just came back to the wheel and I pushed super hard in city. I, I reached 70 kilometers per hour really easily. It was beeping everywhere. And uh, hopefully it didn't cut me off. But but yeah, it's missing, it's missing this capacity to brake. So I was a bit disappointed also with that. The front lights, amazing, even if they are pure garbage when we talk about materials, they are very, very powerful and they allow me to see where I'm going and what I'm doing, so definitely something that I really like it. But after you look to this wheel and there is more stuff that, that is wrong, <laughs> sorry, if it's so negative, even if I simply love it. This bit here, that is your stand so you can stop the wheel. Have some screws here. No blue tide in any screws, by the way. No blue tide in any screws. I don't get it. But these screws, they were completely rusted. I'm showing you. After 300 kilometers. So it means that they are using the wrong components. Looking to the screws here on the back, just to put the pedals, they have different sizes. And I didn't see that is necessary because you have a massive hole here on the, on the back so it's not going to hit anywhere. So also no blue tie there. If you try to untie this structure, you struggle to put your tools on the inside here. So also something just to point it out, it's not user friendly to disassemble. Another thing that I don't get is here, you can see that the screws, they are visible. This one is longer, but this one is shorter, but in the end they are sitting in the same structure. It seems like, oh, we have this screw here. Let me pick it up and put it in there. And it seems that I'm being super, super harsh with this wheel. This is, is, is something that they are constantly doing. If they want to really having a prototype, put out some prototypes, ask us some feedback even before you put to sell something. Because you have a good prototype, not to sell it, a good prototype. I, I tried prototypes before, like the V12 was really a final product almost, and they just tweak some stuff. It's not just tweaking some stuff. Like I said, this structure of the suspension is completely open. Dust and water goes there. 
what you are going to change in there now. It's too late. The screws are completely exposed. What you are going to do? You are going to put another layer of plastic on top because they can rust. Uh, are you going to try to make it more balanced in weight? I don't think so, once again. I believe that you guys should have done this a little bit better, should have given a little bit more time, should have asked more opinions to us, because you have one of the best experiences that I had, but in the same time, the worst. I loved the suspension, it was amazing, and I had a lot of fun. But why I struggle to brake? Why I have to deal with rust parts after 300 kilometers? So basically, we just finished to ride. We've done uh, how many uh, kilometers? 50? Almost, it was 40. It was 45, yeah, a good 45, 45 46 yeah. kilometers 46, yeah. in off-road. We're basically talking about batteries, you was with 14%. Yes, exactly. And uh, River, you was with? 30. 30, but River is quite the same. Yeah, uh, I like so my food. <laughs> <laughs> but in the yeah. mid middle way, we, we just swap around and you, you was riding with the S20. Yeah. What was your first thoughts about the wheel? Obviously, you tr you. You have a, a feel of it before I change the suspension. Yeah. But what you felt today compared to that quick day that you just tried the other day? I think Montana. the adjustments, in terms of the adjustments that were made, of course, depending on the person, depending on the weight, depending on all these factors, of course, uh, it did change, you know, once it got a bit tuned up. Mm. I think it really helped with the handling, especially, because I was struggling initially with turns and so on in terms as well um a braking as well and the platform of the pedals how they were um actually uh, displaced and it really helped you know the adding adding a bit of that tweak to the to the settings of the wheel i really enjoyed the suspension i'll be honest with you i think the travel in that sense was was quite yeah, good you know comparing to the v11 that i mostly ride uh, i think it was really really good um it has really good uh travel range so it really feels very comfy especially on off-road conditions as we had today and you can see on the video um, but I think it did make a major difference I think the adjustments lowering the center of gravity so going a bit lower as you did really helped with the handling with of the wheel in that sense the changes that was made that we just thought uh, the pedals now they, they were on the front so before it was really really hard to to accelerate and uh, to break, it always been a struggle. I don't know if you felt the same. Yes, passing yeah. from the V11 yeah, to to the to the S20. I think that is an issue there that they really need to address because you almost feel that you need to decide if you want to accelerate better or if you want to brake better. And I think you should not be like that. Why the screen is in there and not on the front? Why this handle is in plastic, not in metal or rubber? I don't get it. And and it really upset me because I really enjoy to ride this electric unicycle with my friends. Zach, are you enjoying? We're going to start, yeah. <laughs> Hello, River. Hey, what's up? It's you. You're going to enjoy the day? Oh, yeah. I'm happy we got yeah. here. We yeah. might get fined on our parking, <laughs> but you know, it's a, a attempt. At least we parked. <laughs> I, I love it. It's like now going back to other suspensions, they all feel inferior. Do I recommend you to buy this wheel? For now, I have to say, don't buy it. I think they have to figure it out a few things. I think it's a very good prototype, but nothing more than that. Will I purchase and put some money in here? I don't think so, because I think in the long term, you are going to have some issues massive issues for example on the structure of the suspension maybe you have to disassemble every summer that's something that you really don't want to do there is so many screws on this this uh, now i was going to say scooter because in my mind when i see so many screws it reminds me scooters the cheap ones the chinese ones so also something that i don't like it why they are all so exposed and they are all so different i don't get it that situation of braking is the main reason also besides obviously the lack of quality in components screws and stuff that's the main thing that i'm really concerned about this wheel this wheel can't brake properly because the hardware there is not sufficient to handle more voltage going inside your wheel to break. I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> My name is Marco, this is Medpack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.